two shapes are similar if all the edges have been enlarged by the same scale factor. So basically similar shapes are shapes which have been enlarged. So let's have a look at the two examples here. So what we've got to do is decide if the shapes are similar and if they are similar we've got to explain the answer. So in example one then we've got two rectangles an 8 by 3 rectangle and a 40 by 15. So if we divide the base lengths of the rectangles we get 40 divided by 8 which gives us 5 so the base lengths have been enlarged by a scale factor times 5 and let's do the same for the widths of the rectangle so if we do 15 divided by 3 so again this gives us 5 so you see the base length has been enlarged by 5 and so has the width of each rectangle so since these scale factors are the same then these would be similar shapes so let's move on to example 2 so again we've got to do the same again so we've got to decide if these two triangles are similar and again explain the answer why so we've got a 3 by 4 by 5 triangle and a 4 by 6 by 7.5 OK, so let's first of all divide the bottom edges of each triangle. So that would be 7.5 divided by 5. So it's a little bit tricky this one, so let's use our calculator. So 7.5 divided by 5, that gives 1.5. Let's repeat this for the other edges. Let's do the right hand edge of each triangle. So for this time we do 6 divided by 4. So again that gives us a scale factor of 1.5. So these two edges that we've done so far have been enlarged by a scale factor of 1.5 so this is if this is true for the remaining side the left hand side of each triangle then the shapes will be similar so on our left edges let's do 4 divided by 3 so if we go 4 divided by 3 uh, that gives you 1.3 recurring so since this scale factor is different from the other two, then these two shapes are not similar. If they're going to be similar, then all the scale factors must be the same for all the corresponding edges.